All right, this is Calibos, and we are playing uh, Stoneblock 2. So where we last left off, we were dinking around over here. We're working through our, uh, our uh, making our smeltery bigger, smeltery. And I thought of a neat thing that we could do. Uh, something certainly within our capabilities here. So we're going to go ahead and take this and we're going to smash it. And now that we have smashed it, we will smash it again. Yes, we like to smash things. And we will cook it down into sand. Uh, let's dig out some cobble. I think what we'd like to do is go check. Yeah, let's see what we got. There we go. Uh, you'll notice that I have some additional lava in here. And, whoa. Glowy. I will take that, and we'll take that, and hopefully this plan works. It might not. Oh, it doesn't. That's okay, though. That's okay. We, uh... We have the backup. So we're just going to do that and uh, put this back. So most of you have probably figured out what I am trying to make already. Uh, let's make some apples, really. Wait, can we make an apple sapling? Uh, cherry apple. We can. Oops. Wait, do we have bonsai pots? Tell me we have bonsai pots. We have bonsai pots. Nice. So we have drawers, we have bonsai pots. I think we, uh, we have a good thing going. So the reason I did this is you'll notice that we now have one block and, you know, uh, two ending gets plus one is three, right? So that actually works out to 12 and we put six in there. So this doubles our ores, pretty fancy. Um, and very necessary to avoid a bunch of the grind. I don't know why I'm running all the way back here to do this, because we could just do this, and that, and that. And then this. And then this. Cobblestone generator. So this was a quest, and one of the reasons... Oh yeah, we did this, didn't we? Random reward, random reward, random reward. Oh, wow. Uh, Invar Hammer. Like, I was actually working towards making that nice forge lexicon. Um, So yeah, one of the reasons that I, I really wanted this is this is probably the best mining tool that we have access to at just this moment. Um, the other thing that we're doing is this. So one of the benefits of this is we can just do that. And if we put it in the correct location, which is harder than it looks, I swear, uh, we can do this. So, <clears throat> technically this takes longer. Like, I've measured it out, and 
This actually takes longer than doing it in ingots. Um, but we're just going to have to convert it anyway and stuff. Um, let's put the casting table back down. We'll just put it here, I guess. Just make another one of these faucets. All right, man, I am popular today. I have been getting texts and emails left, right, and center. So we actually are trying for four blocks of iron. Uh, once we have four blocks of iron, uh, things will be better for us. I'm attempting to upgrade our um, tool station into a tool forge because we are very cool people and we need to just like really it will really help expand so we do have this in our hammer and I appreciate it and love it a lot uh, and it does this which makes life so much easier So one, two, three, four, five. I think that five was our one, two, three, four, five, yeah. Two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five, six. that up boom so um, invar hammers and stuff like that are really going to speed up the process as far as getting us to where we want to go most notably the surface uh, now that we've done that we want to go ahead and throw in some of this because we uh, also need to Okay, I'm never going to use this clay bucket again, so I'm going to show you what happens. Boom, clay bucket gone. Um, but we, know, we definitely need to expand our smeltery to uh, a bigger size. And we're also going to need some more seared bricks for some of the things that I want. So, like I said, we're going to take our tool station and turn it into a forge. Uh, electrical steel, energetic alloy, redstone, conductive iron, pulsating iron, dark steel, solarium, end steel, iron alloy, crude steel, crystalline, uh, block of iron. So we're just going to be able, we just need uh, basically three. We'll take this tool station and then we'll be able to do that. It's going to be nice. It's going to be real nice. So, if you'll notice, it gives uh, we put six in there and we got one block and two ingots. Um, so technically, a single cobblestone makes a single ingot or brick. Um, and since it takes four bricks to make a block, uh, it we at a one for one trade, we got that now. 
I don't know if this is still a thing, but this was a way to, to cheese your lava production. And we'll see if it still works. We'll just have to wait for this to go through. Can make a block because we have it. Yeah. And you saw how fast that was. So but it takes a fraction of the amount of lava and it's so fast and so many uh, people miss this recipe. Uh, I'm not even sure that really mod makers know about it. I mean, it's kind of an accidental thing, I guess. So it could be intentional. So uses for this, you can actually make this into the seared pavers then from the pavers you can go bricks. So if we want to, aesthetically speaking, we could just convert it all the way to the bricks. So let's go ahead and grab our table really quick. So we're going to take the tool station here. And then we're going to convert that straight up to the block of iron. And now we have that quest finished. We can just go ahead and put this back in here. It functions the same way. But now you'll see that we have a lot of larger recipes. Actually, what I'd like to do is go ahead and clear up my inventory slightly. Um, I'm going to have to eat soon. So, in my mind, this is honestly one of the best places for this. Is right by the tool forge. Again, we have that in the middle. We'll have the tool forge here. It's what we're going to be using the most of. We have the crafting station to activate it. We'll put this in there. Part builder. Uh, stencil table and the part builder. And then we're still going to be left over with these. So right off the bat, we want the hammerhead pattern. We want the large plate. We want the tough binding pattern. We want the tough rod pattern. And that's going to be our biggest thing as far as that. So we want to go ahead and do parts for these. So hammer. Now you'll notice that these use a lot. Now I'm pretty solid. So if we switch to the hammer over here. Yeah, we didn't actually need to make this right off the bat, but I feel that it is not not a waste. Let's do this one first. Um, because we, we do need it. Uh-oh. There we are. Uh, we actually need to do this. We have a chest. We'll, uh, put the chest here, I guess. Oh, wait, before we do that, let's put the chest here. Which can make mini chests. In case you ever wanted to know how to make mini chests, that's how you do it. Patterns. We'll do 
this, that will turn this into a pattern chest. And we'll put that there. The pattern's there. Now, if we put an ingot in there, it becomes a cast chest. So now we can do that. Put that in there. And that, put that in there. And that. So we'll need one of these plates and this is gonna be very expensive. I'm not honestly sure that we have enough to pull it off. We'll find out. Oh, we did not. Okay, good enough. So let's grab these. I just screwed up. <sighs> I am amazing. Um, quite clear glass, conduit binder. We could do this. The quite clear glass is going to be kind of a hassle. we have to make a, an alloy smelter for it which means we have to go down and do grains of infinity unless there's another do, I, do we have grains of infinity in here because that would be nice that food issue is going to be a pain let's fix our floor here we do not have grains of infinity Copper. All right, well, sure. Got some clay. I think we've got some iron ish. Got three iron. I don't want to be sieving right now. So for the moment, let's go ahead and put this down. They're probably better places for it but this means that we'll have a constant supply of, of lava there uh, we can chuck this out of the way let's cook the apple and uh, we'll start getting into harvesting more food before we starve to death starving to death I suspect that that is not fun Alright, so we have five more iron on our person. Alright, cooked apple. Didn't get any. So we have five more iron on our person. We've got a couple of dirt. So let's go ahead and put an apple tree down somewhere. Um, I don't really have another room that I want to put it in. 
So we'll put this here temporarily. Let's see if it grows. Nope, it doesn't look like it has the uh, thing. Um, oh well. Two ingots, and this is. Oh, I wish it. Oh, there it is. Uh, 144. I think two ingots is what it needs. So we'll have the plate done at least. Yeah, plate's done. Oh, there it is. I did it again, guys. Cause, Please don't laugh at me. I'm doing so badly right now. <laughs> We can make a. Oh, that's. I didn't know we could do that. That's new. Uh, two more ought to do it. Come on, just give this to me. Nope. Sure, we'll do that. Either way, we're we'll we'll be fine. I mean, we can pull this block of iron out. Um, so this needs basically a block, and I think that this needed like eight. So. It's just a matter of patience and not screwing up like me. That's that's really all there is to it. Don't don't screw up like me. All right, so we're gonna crank this near the bottom and boom. So what I honestly would have liked to have done with all that iron, and we still could, we could just toss it back in there and melt it back down again, is I really want to get... Um, here, we're just going to chuck it in there. And then we're going to take this, and we want... Iron in there. Iron in there. Iron in there. And iron in there. And iron in there. Okay. That's perfect. So once this is done, uh, so what I'd kind of like to do is see if we could do this. So I want to give this ecological because, I mean, it's not going to heal super fast. Well, monkeys. So let's do... to give this ecological so that it repairs. 
I mean, it's not honestly going to repair very quickly, but it will repair. Uh, next on our, our list here is the hammerhead. And we should technically have enough for the hammer head to work in here once this melts. So what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna feed out some more of this. And this is going to not just help with our building, but uh, we have a quest which requires us to go to the mining dimension. Uh, visit the mining dimension. So uh, we have to dig up to the top of the overworld, which takes us to the mining dimension, and it's filled with ores. And this hammer and the Invar hammer are going to get us there. All right, so now we're going to do that, switch this back out, and go. Come on, give me the hammerhead. All right. So let's switch back to that before I screw up again. And we'll continue making bricks so that we can make this bigger. But now that we have the hammer head, we can just do this. What are we going to call it? Iron hammer. I don't know. We can name it later. But the other benefit is that has the ability to um, harvest ores that are metal, iron, etc. So we'll take these wooden shards. They're probably garbage. And my inventory is also super full. Which is great. Can't make a cast because we killed all of our... I killed all of our stuff. Anyway, we're going to call it here. I really hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the episode. Despite my, my screw-ups. Um, if you liked it, please leave a like. If you didn't, don't. Simple as that. Questions, comments, concerns can all go below. You folks have a great night.